Ross Garage. Hey, uh, hey, today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some carburetors clean. Uh, I got this uh, last uh, weekend from uh, Bugapalooza. I got me a set of uh, VRLA 40 uh, the loaders, uh, and uh, they seem to be in good shape, but they're they're a eh, little little funky and nasty. Uh, let's uh, move on to the case. Oh, here. I got some muriatic acid, and uh, and I was watching a video. Uh, this uh, gentleman in YouTube that he did it, and uh, carburetor came out really nice today. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, actually show you guys how 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 this works, and hopefully, uh, it's an experiment for me, like like it's gonna be for you. And and if you got something like this, and if it does work, you know. Uh, the carburetors come out really, really nice. So uh, it's supposed to have <clears throat> one and a half gallons of water in a bucket, and then also uh, something to measure measure with. He used he used twenty ounces to to uh, one and a half gallons of water. So this is two about two two and a half gallons of water. So I'm gonna go up to twenty four just uh, just to have a little more kick. So 24 ounces to two and a half gallons of water and also need another bucket like this one to dip the part after you clean it. Well, after it's got to sit 10 minutes in the uh, solution and then you got to pull it out, check it. If it's good, then you'll dip it and clean it off with the clean water. If it needs a little more, supposedly you put it back for another five minutes and, and off you go. All right, so here it is. You see how this really grows. It's got all kinds of stuff. And then on the outside, you can see all the, the gas running, or all gas, all lacquered up or all stuck to it. So the guy says it, it works really well. So we'll see. All right, so now I'm gonna put 24 ounces of this product into this container. Mm -hmm. Woo! It is strong. Ooh, don't get too close. Woo! All right. 24 ounces. And then you're going to put it in. <coughs> Bang! Woo! -hee. That is strong. All right. So, here he goes nothing. Let's dip. And it is bubbling right there. So, so folks, uh, I will, I will come back in about 10 minutes and I will pull this part out of here and we're going to dip it over there and then take a look at it and see how it works. If it works good, you know, you can try it at home and, and clean your carburetors. If it doesn't, it just didn't. All right. So I'll see you folks in a little bit. All right, folks, we're back. We are back. This thing is bubbling. See it? Okay. That was 10 minutes. All right. So, let's see. Take all the excess. I'm going to dip it in the regular water. On the video, he says that uh, if it's still kind of dirty, just get a brush and just brush it. So I have a little brush. 
here safe enough. So, yeah, I think it needs a little longer. I don't like water in my shop, but uh, let, me, let, me get, let me turn around that light. Sorry, guys. There we go. Yeah. I don't know. But look in the inside. It is really, really clean. That is spotless. It's spotless. Even all the the rust from the from the from the metal is gone. Wow, it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, look at that. It's coming off. All right, we're gonna dip it dip it in for another five five minutes. I think. And uh, we're gonna scrub it. Oh wow. All right, so I'm gonna dip it in the solution. All right, so I left it in there 10 more minutes. So it was 10 minutes at the beginning, then five and then five more. So, all right. So, here's the peas. I think I'm gonna scrub it a little bit, put it back in the acid. I just don't wanna get this stuff on my face. Because this thing looks it didn't look nice. I mean, it looks, it looked ran down, beat up. Even though the carburetor, I think it just, it sat down for, it, it sat for a while, so much. So, okay. Well, the guy on the video said that he did a little bit of scrubbing, but if you ever clean the carburetor before, you know that it's really hard to get it really clean. And I've done it, I I put mine on the sandblaster and uh, they come out good, but they get sand all over the, the area. Uh, if you use, and some people say that you can use some uh, baking soda and uh, it does a lot better because it, it won't, it's so fine that it won't mess up the, the carburetor. But the sand will get, if you use sand, it'll get all over the carburetor. So you really don't want that. One. Because carburetors has so many tiny passages. But this product is not expensive at all. I went and found it at Lowe's. When I found it at Lowe's, I paid nine bucks for the gallon. And let's dip it in the water after a little scrubbing. What? Look at the difference. You see, everything is clean. It's, it's moving freely. It's really clean. The passages, I can see them. And you can see through the, through the passages. And look at that. It is really clean. So I think, I think all in all, it was a success. All in all, was a success. It's really clean, and I didn't do much but dip it in there. So, 
20 minutes, two and a half gallons of water, 24 ounces of the muriatic acid right there. I got it at Lowe's, nine bucks, $9.99. And this was the condition that I dipped it in, all crusty, all nasty. On the inside is worst. And it came out, turned out really nice. This is ready to go. And of course, I'm a on my on my page, I'm a I'm a I'm a after I get the, the kit, I'm gonna install this, I'm gonna run it in my motor and my engine and see how it works. But I think this should be good. This this is this re looks really good. Hey Google, give me 20 minutes on the clock. So sure, 20 minutes starting. That was it. Uh hope uh hoping that you liked the video and uh you know like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also uh, uh request to join my Ross VW Garage page and uh I'll see you folks later with some more interesting stuff like like this, all this stuff right here. So that's what we're here for. All right. All right, folks. Catch you later. Uh, I waited for a little while until it dried out. Uh, I used the air gun to, to finalize. And I just need to, I just need you guys to look. Look at this. Wow. That is clean, clean. You got rid of all, all the corrosion, all the the goo and the old gas. Yeah, this is clean, clean. Look at that, clean. Wow.